least I think this is a river. Maybe it's just a pond. I don't know. It looks really janky though. Oh jeez! Oh no! YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, checking out SnowRunner. This is the sequel to Mud Runner, which we've played here on the channel. And I do want to thank the dev for sending over a copy of this because it's actually releasing today. And uh, I get to check it out early, so I'm actually really excited about that. So you're probably asking, Komodo, where's the snow? Well, we're going to get to that. Right now we're in Michigan. Apparently, this is like the tutorial level. And uh, we've got to go help with a down bridge. I think there was like a flood or something. And I guess this is going to walk us through the basics of the game. Uh, that way, hopefully, we can get out to, I think it's Alaska, and go play in the snow here. So, yeah, I think the game's changed up quite a bit from uh, Mud Runner as far as the job system. So, I think it's a little bit more, I would say, robust. It's not quite just, hey, go pick up this lumber and take it to this other spot. I actually think it's a little bit more involved uh, than the last games. I mean, we're about to go, I guess, repair a bridge, so that's kind of cool. So, if you want to see more of this on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, and if I can get the guys to play with me in some multiplayer, maybe we can do that in the future. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you'd want to see that, and what the heck? Alright, we've uh, come up to... Okay, I see where a bridge should be, and I see a trail to the side. You know what? Komodo's playing risky today. We're going for it. Never do this in real life, folks. Uh, if it's running water, it's probably not safe for the vehicle. Oh, no! Uh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. Look at this. We totally made it right through. Yeah. Uh, this would have been pretty scary in this little old Chevy truck. All right. So I think we need to go to the watchtower real quick. We're going to click into there. It should open up on the next part of the map. And we should be able to go to our objective, which is a bridge, I believe. All right. Watchtower it is. So we're here. And uh, we should be able to launch observation. And boom. All right. So we're looking for a bridge. Obviously, it's been raining a lot. I think the whole area is flooded. And I think it's actually over here. Let's open up our map. Yeah, we got something. Actually, I think it's going to give us a new truck. It's a GMC over here. Uh, I think it's got like a flatbed or something. All right, I play by no rules. So I'm going to go ahead and try to launch myself off this cliff. That way we can get down there faster. Actually, you know what? It looks like there's a little uh, area over here we can go off in. Oh, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> okay, watch out. Oh, that's a lot of mud right there. Just go through it. Yes! What are you talking about? We do this in Texas for fun. So yeah, I really do want to get to the uh, the snow part. Uh, that's obviously the name, and I want to see how the snow changes the whole game here. Uh, I'm damaging the truck quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, so if we go around here, looks like we've got... Yeah, I can see our truck up there. Alright, let's go check out this uh, GMC. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and change truck here, and boom! All right, so that contract's completed. So yeah, you can access the map and this will take you to all your contracts. Uh, so it also shows all the other little places like the fuel stations and stuff like that. But our contract, let's see where it is real quick. All right, so our first contract does look like it's gonna be like a lumber job. So we can go down to, I guess here. And then it says old bridge reconstruction. So we'll go ahead and click it. And yeah, we got to take metal planks to the old bridge. So there's a bridge out right here. And we'll just have to deliver those planks. So let's go ahead and activate this job. And yeah, it's going to tell me where to go from here, which looks like it's a pretty easy route. All right, now this is a truck. I like this thing. Uh, let's hope we don't get stuck somewhere. So let's go to the left. I think this is going to take us right up into town. Oh, look at this. We got a full little town over here. So we're probably near our pickup point. So yeah, we're going to go take a left at the next intersection, and then we're going to take a right once we get to the end of the road. Oh, is that a pothole? You know what? Uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, boy. All right. So, yeah, it looks like the storage is back here. Let's just go ahead and pull around back, and we're going to load this wood up. Is it two loads or just one? I think it's just one that we have to take. All right, so we're going to go ahead and auto-load those, and boom. Do we need two of these? Maybe we do need a trailer. Uh, that would definitely be a thing. Ah, here we go. So this is the trailer we need to attach. So I'm assuming this has got the rest of the supplies in there. So let's go. Oh, yeah, you could totally attach the trailer like this. Now, this is uh, suitable. So let's go attach trailer. Trailer's too far away. No. You think? All right, when in doubt, just run the fence over. There we go. Perfect. 
I'm sure they won't mind me doing that. So let's go boom and can we attach? There we go. All right, looks like we're pulling up potentially to the down bridge. I think it's, yeah, here to the left. Okay, let's go ahead and pull through here. Watch our trailer, make sure it doesn't hit the side. Ah, uh, this is pretty sweet. All right, so I guess we just go right here and we should be able to complete the job. Now, question is, does it actually complete the bridge and maybe unlock more areas for us to play in? I'm assuming. So, all right, cargo management. So let's go ahead and unload. And boom, there goes the metal pieces, okay. And then I guess I just pull forward uh, and deliver the wood. Oh, I have to go get the other part at the uh, the lumber mill. I guess that makes sense. Well, what's on my trailer then? All right, can I pull this forward and unload this? Yeah, that doesn't quite look like wood back there, does it? All right, time to get some of these wood planks. Let's go ahead and manage cargo. Wait, can I fit two loads of wood on here? So let's load that, load that. Okay, that's all I need. All right, sweet. So why am I carrying the trailer? You know what? We're going to keep carrying it just in case we actually need it. But all we've got to do is go back to the bridge and we should be good to go. Actually, we can pull out of the lumber yard this way and it's raining. Okay. By the way, I have to mention the game is gorgeous. Uh Oh, Oh. okay. I think I just got stuck. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, that didn't take long. All right. So we need to uh, definitely winch to something real quick. All right, let's try to winch this tree here. All right, so all we got to do is try to pull ourselves out of the mud here. This is going to be perfectly fine, so let's go F. There it goes. All right, almost out. Spin those tires, and boom. All right. Uh, it's our first time getting stuck here. Pretty sure it's not going to be our last time. All right, here we are, back at the bridge. So this should be enough to complete this job. And then uh, I think we're going to go find some snow to play in. All right, so let's go cargo management and unload. Boom. There you go. We have helped rebuild the bridge here. And I guess it would have opened up uh, another part of the map. So sweet. All right, so I think it's about time we check out what you guys have been waiting for. All right, here we are in North Point, Alaska. So the terrain has completely changed. We've got snow, we've got ice, and I'm pretty sure we've got a whole lot of other challenges. So yeah, we're in this uh, awesome looking uh, huge Jeep here. Now, we're not gonna take an objective in this because I'm pretty sure we need some trucks, which we can go buy some uh, from the garage behind us. Let me go and show you guys the map real quick. So yeah, obviously you can see part of it's still blacked out. Uh, we've got a couple watchtowers we can get to, but if we open up our contracts menu, you can see the, uh, the companies we can go work for. So say, I don't know, Blackbird for instance. You can see all the different jobs we have. Uh, the first one's pipeline construction, which is just delivering some uh, service parts out to a pipeline that they're trying to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. I don't know if we're going to actually get around to doing it because I'm going to probably have too much fun playing in the snow. Plus, I think it's like back in the uh, back in the opposite direction. So wait, is that a frozen lake? Please tell me it's a frozen lake. Yes, it is. All right, let's run out here. Oh, no. All right, wait. Is it frozen? Wait, can I go through the lake? I don't know. I guess we're going to test it out. I wonder if you got like a really big heavy truck and oh, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, we're just sliding. <laughs> oh boy, we would never get to do this in Texas. Uh, we sometimes get a thin layer of ice over like lakes or really not even lakes, more like ponds. And uh, as soon as you touch it, you just go through it. So definitely not going to be driving a vehicle on top of it. And this is absolutely incredible. All right, so that leads off somewhere. Is that where my objective is? Oh, it kind of is. But do I need to go down to the service hub? I need to actually read this. Probably need to pick up stuff down here, which I don't think I have the right uh, vehicle for this. Maybe we do need to go get one of the big trucks. I don't know. We first have to run this uh, vehicle through some heavy snow real quick. Man, it looks kind of cold in Alaska. And oh, there's our pipeline. Yeah, it's actually blocking the road. So I guess to unlock the next part of the road, we have to deliver those uh, service parts. Well, I mean, I see a nice little trail beside us. Okay, so we've already got all-wheel drive, which I think is always on in this vehicle. Uh, we'll see if we need the differential lock. Maybe if we start getting stuck here and... Yeah, it's uh, packed in a little harder than normal mud and... Oh, this is cool looking. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just bouncing around here. Oh, yes, I do look forward to maybe playing this with like OB and uh, watching him get stuck and scream 
and we could just leave them behind like we did in the other episodes of uh, Mud Runner. That'd be great. All right, this is looking pretty deep here. And, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go low gear and let's do differential lock and there we go. We can just power right through it here. Here's your uh, inside view. I have no clue where I'm going. Is this at least leading me out to like a watchtower? Uh, we're gonna be in between one. We probably can cut down and get to this watchtower, unlock this area, and then maybe we can do that pipeline job. Oh, this looks really wet right here. Okay, just cruising there is fine. All right, so just a little nice touch that I just noticed. So you can see the snowflakes falling. Watch as they actually land on the vehicle here. Like they'll land on it and melt. That's actually so cool. <laughs> All right, we found the tower. I'm not gonna actually use the road. Let's go off in the powder here. Watch how the powder gets up in the tires. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so I could see, or well, at least I thought I could see the top of the, oh, here it is. Our tower's right here. We're about to go downhill and, okay, here's the river. Uh, maybe we can find those tools. At least I think this is the river. Maybe it's just a pond. I don't know. It looks really janky though. Oh jeez! Oh no! <laughs> are you serious? On! Right, are we good? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and launch this real quick and boom! We've unlocked another part of the map, or at least on the map map. I mean, we can pretty much go wherever we want. Alright, I really want to cross this janky looking bridge back here. Alright, let's go automatic here. Uh, we should probably go get a bigger uh, vehicle too, so on, oh, let's go over here. This looks like one of those bridges when you go on it, it moves. Uh, let's hope that's not the case and hold on, get up here. Ooh, okay. Oh, yep, it moves a little bit. No, nope, this is fine. Oh, 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 and we're good. All right, we really need to go find like a main road or something and the trail just kind of disappeared here. Oh, this is fine. Ah, uh, here we go. All right, this road should lead us back to our starting area, which I think it's right there. All right, let's get over here and see if we can get ourselves another truck. All right, buddies. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, it's a good way to park. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the drive's a little slick here. Uh, wouldn't be bad if we went out and put some salt on this thing to try to get it some grip. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go into here and let's go check out the garage. All right, so let's see what kind of trucks we have. So we have the Chevrolet Kodiak. That looks awesome. Uh, the Scout 800 and the White Western Star 4964. So can I buy different ones? I think this is uh, pretty much what I have available. So let's do this one here. This one looks awesome. So let's go ahead and deploy it. So we can customize these things a little bit. Uh, so we got different engines, all the, uh, the fun stuff that you can do with them. I don't think I need like a snorkel here, but oh, what kind of frame add-ons do we have? We got the crane, probably want a flatbed. Uh, there's the van. See, I like the customization here. You used to kind of do it out in the world. You would pop on different stuff, but I like going into the garage here and uh, seeing what they've got. So you got saddles. Probably need something like a flatbed for here. All right, so let's purchase that. Uh, interchangeable all-wheel drive. I can't do that. That'd be nice to be able to do. Uh, differential lock. Okay, let's see, we got winch. Oh, we can get a high-powered winch for this. Let's go ahead and buy that. There we go. So, yeah, you've got to explore some areas to unlock some of the other things, like, say, the raised suspension here. Uh, what about engines? Do we have something else we can put in here? Uh, there we go. And I think that's about it. We can, uh, also do some visual stuff, too. Ooh, look at that. Put a big old bumper on it. All right, that looks kind of cool. We got to do that. Okay, and of course we can paint this. Uh, I like red. Let's do red. Wait, what's what's this? Ooh, these two tones are nice. I like this uh, red and white here. So let's go with that. All right, we are uh, customized and ready to go. All right, so here's our uh, Chevy Kodiak, which I don't think I've ever heard of this before, but uh, I'm going to guess it exists. It looks quite old. Looks like it might be from the 70s or 80s. All right, so we're going to attempt to make it up the road here and see if maybe we can even load up the pipes on this flatbed. We might not be able to. I'm not really sure. I think I'm supposed to go over here, and then we'll take them back down the road to where the uh, the road's blocked. Wolf grip. Uh, is this a pipe place? <laughs> I don't know. I've got a little thing over here. And, oh, I just took your uh, stop sign out. Sorry. This is my bad. Okay, what can we get here? 
Uh, looks like they sell pipes. Okay, so let's go cargo management and service parts, which I think this is what we needed. All right, so let's load these up. So I think we can just turn around and we can head out to the uh, the pipeline there and fix it. You know, one thing I'd like to see from these games, say on just the main roads, not necessarily all the off-road sections and trails, it would be kind of cool to see just a little bit of AI traffic. Maybe you'd have to get around a vehicle or two, or say the vehicle's stuck on the side of the road, you can have the option to winch them out instead of just your dumb friends that get stuck. <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of cool to see in the future. All right, we're uh, not too far from the uh, the pipeline side. Actually, you can see the pipeline up there. Uh, this road looks a little sketchy. Now we got this. Oh, oh, we are digging in with those back tires. Uh, I think we're gonna be fine. All right, it's right up here. Wait, do I have to be on the other side to deliver one half? I mean, I think I could drive under the pipeline potentially. Uh, let's go over here. All right, so we're gonna drop off. Maybe we just drop off on either side is what it is. Let's just go to cargo management, unload. There we go, and look at that. Contract completed, we've got some money here, and uh, we can actually explore beyond this area. So, pretty cool little game here. Let me know if you guys wanna see more of this on the channel, maybe either single player or maybe even some multiplayer with the dudes. Uh, let me know, pretty cool little game, just came out today, go check it out on the Epic Game Store, and we'll see you guys next time.